LCD color depth and resolution defines the requirement for image buffer to store data being displayed. This slide shows some typical configurations and memory requirement. The formula to calculate image RAM requirement is X resolution in pixels multiplied by Y resolution in pixels multiplied by bytes per pixel. In case of monochrome, pixel has only two settings, on and off. This requires only one bit per pixel. If we look at 1 16th VGA resolution monochrome display, then we'll need 160 multiplied by 120 multiplied by 1 8th upper bytes of image RAM. This translates into 2400 bytes of data RAM for one page of image buffer. In case of QVGA 18-bit color, each pixel needs 18-bit data. We need 320 multiplied by 240 multiplied by 18 divided by 8 bytes of RAM, which assumes digital logic can handle 18-bit. If one uses standard peripherals, then they either have 16-bit interface or you use 8-bit interface to get 24-bit data. The 24-bit data storage will waste some RAM. It is quite common to use 16-bit data and do not use two LSBs in color depth. This doesn't have any significant impact on picture quality. In case of 16-bit data, common trend is to use 5 bits to represent red, 5 for blue, and 6 for green. You can see that the color QVG resolution display requires use of significant amount of data RAM and lots of data movement. Because of this, traditionally color graphics is considered to be high-end 32-bit MCU domain application. However, microchip library makes it possible to do high-quality graphics on low-end 16-bit microcontroller. I think this is the most important slide in presentation and we'll spend good amount of time on this slide. So please pay attention to this. We need image buffer to store raw image that is being displayed. As explained in previous slide, the size of the image RAM will depend on resolution and color depth. The LCD display needs to be refreshed continuously. The graphics LCD system works similar to picture tube in CRT. The display is updated horizontally line by line. Digital voltage generator in this block is digital equivalent of picture tube. It reads image buffer pixel by pixel and generates scan waveforms. This scan waveform has individual line for each data bit. For 16-bit, it will have 5R, 5B, and 6G lines. In addition to that, it will have some additional control signals like clock, horizontal sync, and vertical sync pulses. This digital waveform is fed into gate driver. The gate driver is highly glass technology specific and many times it is high voltage technology. The block shown in red arrow is a continuous data stream. For a 16-bit QGA display, the clock frequency tends to be in the neighborhood of 4 MHz to keep 16 frames per second update rate. Therefore, you need dedicated hardware module to do this. It will require significant CPU power to do it as a bit banked operation. All these blocks combined together just gives a basic raster. It is like turning TV on without any TV signal. Ideally, you want to display menus, buttons, icons on your screen. To do this, you will need intelligent device like MCU. 
the MCU needs to run graphics library to do high quality of graphics. This library will take simple input like size of the button, color and few other parameters and figure out which pixel should be displayed in which color to create required image. This process is called software rendering. The graphic solution can be CPU resource intensive system. Let us consider worst case example of 16-bit QVGA display. An application is trying to fill whole screen with one color. This requires that each and every byte in 156 kilobytes of image RAM gets updated with that color data. It may take CPU tens of milliseconds to finish it. In this kind of system, hardware support can help. One can instruct hardware to fill locations in certain block with fixed color. The hardware can be instructed in microseconds. After that, hardware may take tens of milliseconds to update all data. However, CPU is free to do other tasks while hardware is updating all locations. This kind of hardware support is called graphical accelerator. Usually for embedded requirement, it provides acceleration to 2D drawing functions like line, rectangle, block fill, etc. On a PC design for video games may have a hardware accelerators for 3D drawing. The graphic accelerator is an optional block and is not available on many LCD controllers. This is a list of possible 2D acceleration functions. The items in blue are the most common features on LCD controllers that offers graphics acceleration. I will say less than 50% of LCD controllers offer some kind of graphics acceleration features and very few offer all of them. 